Well, as you can see, the element, the document has three basic, three basic elements. It shows the NDC's achievements, you know, which were highlighted. His Excellency mentioned a few of them, and it's important because we have become used to promises, and if we are not careful, we we'll generalize as though. Uh, uh, election promises are made and they are not fulfilled. That is concrete evidence that we are talking about experience. He gave numbers to support them, dead numbers. He gave infrastructure numbers, you know, uh, infrastructure projects and to support them. That's the first part. Then the second part is the dissecting the document itself with respect to what we plan, you know, to do. May I remind the media, and I knew this was coming, may I remind the media that we were in an IMF program preparing 2013-2014 and the ECF 2015. We were in a fund program where we did most of the infrastructure projects. The IMF is not against you mobilizing and managing effectively, right? So if you recall, Terminal 3, the harbor and all those loans were acquired through our self-financing or smart borrowing, you know, strategies. So, don't forget that we, no, don't, well, he spoke about rationalization. And don't forget that we inherited the single spine, which was quite significant, initially through borrowing, and then we had the negotiations with labor. You heard him talk about, you know, the consultations. Don't forget that we also experienced the damage of the pipeline from Nigeria, which resulted in doom so, right? And for which we had to adjust strategies, and we ended the, with SS, you know, which SS uh, 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 power, which should have been a, a blessing, was made to look like a curse. So we are not saying that, you know, it's going to be easy, as he said, but it takes dedication because simply because you are in a fund program, that sort of doesn't mean that you should come to a standstill. But, but you, you don't, you don't have, you don't have a clear picture of what the situation and, and let me is. Make the last point. That's, 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 let me make the last point. Don't also forget that we had these difficulties. We were in a fund program when we launched the progressively fee-free education and built, you know, the e-schools. And as was said, we were honest with Ghanaians. Once crude oil prices fell, and it was going to be difficult, we squared with Ghanaians and said we were not going to, you know, finish them. And so, and remember that promises are not fulfilled in a year. We are talking about four years, and hopefully, hopefully, another four years. But you've, 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 made, you've made the argument that in, in 90 days... Of course, but we are a government which believes in even pipeline projects left by other governments. You know how much more the ones that will follow another four years should we come to power? We believe, remember there were big projects, the big six and the rest from the Kufu administration, which under Professor Mills, we mobilized to complete. Remember the big six road projects and others? No, we are not going to abandon, you know, promises because we're going into another year. And that's why I mentioned the fact that we began by showing the experience that we had. Whether you're talking about slowdown in the economy, whether you're talking about, you know, IMF program, whether you're talking about the need to negotiate and let labor and others understand. So just, just briefly, on the question of, of, of the things that you intend to do. 90 days, first 90 days in deciding to scrap these very important taxes, some would say it's a bit rushed and perhaps you should get into well, remember, space. remember, <coughs> excuse me, many, we can have a session later on and I'll explain. Many of the taxes that were introduced, many of the taxes that were introduced, right, there are two features. They used to be introduced only when you have an IMF program and then they lapse, right? They used to be introduced when they have it. Secondly, many of them, if those of you may not remember Kumi Prekun, 
were in existence and were subsumed into the VAT. So the streamlining of the VAT, as Honorable Fawzin pointed out, is to subsume you know, them back into the VAT and make it the true consumption tax. And then we would allow even businesses <coughs> to avoid the evasion and avoidance, allow businesses to take their input tax credit and refund again. I will remind you, just this week, the Institute of uh, uh, Taxation, last week, the Institute of Taxation had their annual conference and they were talking about the Commissioner General, the actor, <coughs> spoke about the need to streamline the VAT. It has been on our agenda for a very long time. So we started a tax rationalization. Remember, we revamped all the tax laws before we left office. All the tax laws. We relaunched ICOMS and then we had ITAX. You know, so we're going to be doing this alongside other administration and structural reforms. So it's a complete phase two. What should have been phase two of the, of the revenue administration reforms? Is what he's talking about. The big question so is talking about something in isolation. Yes. The big question is: Can Ghanaians trust the NDC to be able to deliver on these promises that you've made? Today? You heard me. I said, you heard me. I said, the manifesto is in three parts. The last part was a compact. The first part was the fact that we delivered on our promises. <coughs> Excuse me. The fact that somebody says we did not perform. We've come to realize that we performed. So we delivered on our promises. Debt was, what, 57% as he said. You know, uh, <coughs> deficit was 6.1. So we are talking about beginning this manifesto on a record. That's what we're talking about. So the record is self-evident there. And we can have time. We can arrange a session. If all of you would, you know, yes. And then we can answer your questions more appropriately. So I'm going to contact the headquarters who would, and would answer and explain further, often with figures, to show you that these are backed, these are very realistic, you know, policy. Thank you very much. That's the Honorable Sir Tekwe.